Hello, I'm Dr. Adam Rosen, and welcome to Knee TV. Today, what I'm going to try to talk to you about is the differences in a lot of the over the counter medications. Uh, this is something that I find a lot of my patients can get confused about. And it's difficult to understand some of the differences. So for starters, what we're going to talk about is the two different types of medications that you can buy at the store. There are anti-inflammatories, what people refer to as the NSAIDs, and acetaminophen or other pain relievers that go by generic name acetaminophen or the brand name Tylenol. So if we talk about the anti-inflammatories and we talk about ibuprofen products, so this would be your generic ibuprofen that you can buy at the store, brand name Advil, or brand name Motrin. These are all anti-inflammatories. They are all ibuprofen. They typically all come in 200 milligram tablets. So the normal recommended dose that you'll get on the box typically is to take two pills three times a day. What I have a lot of my patients do that if they're having significant pain is they can increase that to three pills three times a day for three days. I recommend that as a rule of threes. Um, I recommend not taking it for more than a week at a time. Uh, but a lot of times that three pills three times a day for three days tends to be very effective. The typical prescription doses are 600 or 800 milligrams. So just know that if your doctor has given you one of those higher strength pills, you obviously do not, do not want to take three of those 600 milligram pills at one time, but instead take one pill three times a day. Another anti-inflammatory that you can buy over the counter is naproxen, which is also known as Aleve. So these typically are used one pill every 12 hours. You can take up to three pills a day for their recommendations. Um, a stronger prescription strength is available, and that's almost equivalent to taking two pills twice a day. So for my patients, what I would recommend is if they need something very strong, two over-the-counter tablets. So that would be a total of 440 milligrams twice a day. But you have to understand you should be taking either this or that. Typically people make the mistake of taking an anti-inflammatory such as ibuprofen still having pain and then adding another anti-inflammatory such as naproxen that doubly increases your risk of having problems with your kidneys or stomach or bleeding issues. Now another type of pain reliever on the market is acetaminophen. This is also very commonly known as Tylenol but Tylenol can be confusing for some patients because it comes in three different strengths. So you have your regular strength 325 milligrams then you have your extra strength, 500 milligrams, and then you have your arthritis strength, 650 milligrams. So what I typically recommend to patients is that middle dose, that 500 milligram, you can take two pills, so that's 1,000 milligrams, every eight hours, so that's three times a day for 3,000. It is strongly recommended that do not hit the 4,000 milligrams of Tylenol per day mark because at that rate and above, it really increases your risk of liver damage it's very important to know that and calculate that in if you're taking other medicines, such as things like Percocet or Vicodin, that would have Tylenol in them. So make sure that you're aware of what other medicines that you're taking. Now the other option that I leave for my patients as the severe breakthrough combination pill is if you're having a lot of pain and one of these or one of those just does not cut it, then what I have them do is one of the anti-inflammatories and one of the acetaminophen options. So my typical recommendation for a lot of my patients, even after surgery, is they'll do a 500 milligram strength. So they're getting 1,000 milligrams three times a day. And then what we'll typically do is actually add in another one of the ibuprofen products. So they'll do three pills three times a day, two pills three times a day. So it's five pills three times a day. But that combination is extremely effective. If you're a naproxen person, you can do two pills twice a day. With your Tylenol, two pills three times a day. And again, that's one anti-inflammatory with Tylenol or one anti-inflammatory with Tylenol. But do not take an anti-inflammatory and an anti-inflammatory, otherwise it significantly increases your risk. So hopefully that explains some of the confusion that a lot of patients have. Uh, once again, I am a doctor. I am not your doctor. So this is just informational only. I have a very detailed discussion with my patients about the risks that they may have depending on their diseases or what other medications that they're on. So before you use any of these medicines, other than what's prescribed on the boxes, over the counter, I strongly urge you to discuss this with your doctor and get their recommendations on what would be safe for you. Uh, but thanks again for tuning in to Knee TV. I'm Dr. Adam Rosen. Have a good day.